Hello and welcome to another episode of The Idiot's Guide to Identifying Iron Cross's Second Class. And in this episode, we have the famous, the desired, round three. And as usual, before we head on to our video, please don't forget to subscribe, hit that notification button, like and share. The round three. This Iron Cross second class draws a bit of controversy to itself, being that the collection community is divided. Some collectors say that this is produced by Deschler due to the frames, the logs, and some other features that they say is similar to a Deschler, while the other side says it's completely an unknown maker. But hey, I'm not here to debunk anything, I'm just here to show you what features to look for when looking for a round three. First and foremost, the reason why this is called a round three is simply because this version of the Iron Cross second class has a round three, meaning that the top is not flat like all of the ones that I've shown you. Another distinct feature of a round three is that all of them has a lug of the 12 o'clock arm. And as in the verse, we have the same thing on the reverse, the round top of the three. Again, the description round three basically means that the three has a round top as opposed to having a flat one like all the other iron crosses. Now there are different types of round threes out there and this first sample I'm showing you is the beveled edge. It's called beveled edge simply because unlike all the other iron cross second class, the corner as highlighted here is actually beveled as you can see in that round circle to the lower left of your screen. The beveled edge has all intersecting outer corners beveled. Beveling basically means the sloping down of the edges. Another famous round tree is the pebbled core with the swastika on the pedestal or Hakenkruz on the pedestal. As you can clearly see the core is not of a smooth variation. The core is pebbled meaning it's rough. Unlike the previous cross that I showed you where the core around, around the swastika and the dates are smooth. Another distinct feature of this and one that makes it really highly desirable in my opinion is the fact that the swastika sits on the pedestal. If you can look closely to that circle on the right, you see that there are lines around the gaps of the arms of the swastika, which actually makes it look like it sits on a plateau or a pedestal. The pebbled core, in my opinion, is one of the prettiest and most complete in terms of features of an Iron Cross second class. The last, but definitely not the least types of variants of the round three is the thick frame and the thin frame. Basically, it's just a difference in the width of the frames, as you can see in that circle to the right. One is thicker, and the other one is thinner. That's all it is. This is the obverse and the reverse of the beveled edge of the R3. And there you have it guys, the round three. All round threes do not come with a maker's mark on any of the rings or anywhere else on the cross. So it is a highly contentious cross, but very desirable nonetheless because of its unique design. And uh, yeah, love it or hate it. It is a must for any collection. Well, this is Chris Kreutz saying thank you very much again for joining me in this episode in another exciting journey in our quest for knowledge regarding how to identify these beautiful decorations for Valor. We will see you in the next one. Take care now. Bye.